All right, we're going to do line two of Prelude. Line two is very similar to line one in two, two parts. It has the same D minor, it has the same G7 to the G7 with the B in the bass, which is exactly like the third and fourth measure of the first line. So it starts off with a C chord, same old C, thumb on the fifth string, simple P, I, M, A. Now this next chord, we're gonna go to two fingers. Our first finger will be on the second fret of the third string. Third finger is gonna be on the second fret of the second string, and our pinky, or our little finger, is gonna be on the third fret of the first string. Now this is sort of an A7 chord. Well, it is an A7 chord. So thumb still stays on the fifth string for this one. So we, we simply go P-I-M-A again. So those two together, the first measure of the second line is C chord, P-I-M-A. Then we're going to go to this A7 chord with fingers two, three, and pinky. And now we're not gonna move our second finger because we're back to that D minor shape. So we just take our pinky, put it on the second string, drop our first finger on the first string, and our third finger's hovering because it's gonna have to go on the third fret again of the fourth string. So then we go thumbs on four, P, I, M, Drop our third finger on fourth string, third fret. P, I, M, A, still on the fourth string. So those together are simply P, I, M, A on the fourth string, thumb. Drop our third finger on the fourth string, third fret. Now we're going to do our G7 just like we did in the last measure of line one. G7, our pinky's hovering. Now drop our pinky on the third fret, just like we did before. You can lift your third finger or you can leave it down. Thumb goes to the fifth string. So the G7 is six string thumb on the picking side. Then thumb goes to the fifth string. We drop our pinky. And then we simply play a C chord. G7 with our, so the C chord, of course, our thumbs on the fifth string, G7. So let's go through that whole line really slowly. Here we go. So we got our C chord, and then we go to our A7, to our D minor, add the fifth string. We can lift our third finger if we want. It's just a simple C and G7. So the first two lines together should sound something like this. Let's see if I can play them. Mistakes and all. Okay, so that's the second line, the first and second line I just played with one error. And the third line is the exact same line as the first line. 
and the last line is pretty much like the second line with uh, one slight alteration at the end. And we'll uh, do that next week. All right, here it is. Good luck.